is a federal holiday, the official government observance of Juneteenth. It marks the anniversary of the last day the African-American slaves learned they were free after the Civil War. Parades and other celebrations were held in Buffalo, Niagara Falls, and elsewhere over the weekend. The state also announced a $50 million investment in Buffalo's east side. New at 5.30, Jocelyn Person speaks with community leaders about where they would like this money to be spent. The Juneteenth celebration continued Monday here at Martha Luther King Park with a special giveaway. Um, actually, it's a part of the celebration, of course, because of where we are. But um, we are actually here to give the kids sports equipment. During the event, I spoke with LZ Mayweather, a coach with the Buffalo Athletic League. He heard about the governor's plan to invest $50 million in his east side community, and he hopes some of that money will focus on local kids can actually, instead of building a new facility, just take the old facility and make it new for the kids. So. Mayweather's partner, Artis Green, agrees. I'm more so clearly with the kids spectrum. Um, so anything positive that's going to make sure that our future is secure and they have a future, um, I'm with that in regards to them putting their money in towards something that's for the kids. And Councilman Ulysses Wingo tells me this money isn't a one-time investment. What we do know for right now is that $20 million is going to go towards folks paying off delinquent uh, uh, water bills and tax uh, bills. Wingo says a major portion of this money will go to housing, but the councilman says he doesn't know when or how the money will be allocated to his community. I don't know who the fiduciary is yet. So as far as the funding is concerned, uh, we're going to just have to wait and see how the government roll, the state government rolls out um, who the fiduciary is going to be and how they're going to structure that rollout. I reached out to the governor's office to try and get some of those answers. They issued a statement saying, in part, more information will soon be made available as to eligibility and how individuals can apply. You can read the full statement on WKBW.com. Meantime, LZ is sending this message to the governor. I just hope that they do use it more generously with the youth and think about the communities inside the east side of Buffalo. Jocelyn Person, 7 News.